Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, VRD of an Art Dimension. Well, let's start with today's video, Stride Fates. There's been a huge update, so let's jump in and have a look. We'll just look at the difference in the graphics. Now it looks like a PSVR 2 game, where before it looked like a Quest 2 game, so it did. They've added new features, like haptic feedback for adaptive triggers, and they've added new concrete jungle with new story missions more props new lighting shadows and now they've added eye tracking as well so if you have it you were disappointed with it it is worth jumping back into for for them big changes they've done i was going to buy it but i heard bad reviews about it so it didn't bother and up next coming to psvr 2 death relives it's a 3D first person survival horror action explore, exploration game where you you enter a nightmarish world where survival from long forgotten gods is the ultimate objective. Explore real historic places and you'll be fighting against ancient gods. Looks a good one. The graphics look good as well. No deal on it yet, but something to look forward to. I'll be getting this one in the future. It's on my wish list for sure. This was one of the top selling games when PSVR 2 was released. In fact, it was number one top seller for the first few months. Well, they've done a new, a huge update to it. It'll be out on the 12th of June. I'd never played it. I've heard the graphics are amazing. So, I think I'll buy this one the 12th of June so I'm looking forward to it and then up next Puzzling Places it's got more DLC this one the UK pack it's out now I'm from the UK but I live in, but I live in Spain now it brings back old memories don't have this one not in the puzzle games but if you're in the puzzle games well some more DLC for you and next up if you have PS Plus Premium, you can now download the six PSVR 2 games before your eyes, Mini Golf, Saints and Sinners 1 and 2, Ghostbusters, Synth Raiders. So if you haven't played these, they're nice. You're going to have loads of hours of gameplay to enjoy. Some great games there. And lastly, Bulletstorm. It's had some big updates, improvement, eye track, foot rail rendering, into the game, some new haptic adjustments, they have fixed crashes and bugs, a wide range of sceneries, cutscenes, quality has improved, improved weapon reload, death music re-added to the game, so if you ha have it, jump back in there, check it out, see what you think about it, I'm sure the changes they've done is a big difference. And I'm sure it's a different game now. I didn't buy it, didn't fancy it, wasn't for me. But as I'm saying, go in there and check it out. Well everyone, that's all I have for now. Hope you liked the video. If you did, please hit a like and subscribe. Helps the channel grow. You take care till the next time. Bye bye.